The tale of the Black Robin is probably New Zealand's most famous conservation story. The dedication that led to the return of this population from just one viable female, Old Blue, has inspired people throughout the globe. We're here on Rangatira in the Chatham Islands to revisit these lovely birds 30 years after they were rescued from the jaws of extinction. Like a bird Through prison bars I'm escaping Black robins saved from extinction? Black robins used to occur on all the islands in the Chathams, um, on the main Chatham and Pit and on, on here. Um, but by the 1970s they were restricted to Little Mangere. The Wildlife Service in that time were kind of keeping tabs on the population and they noticed that the population was declining quite dramatically until it was down to seven birds. And they were moved to Mangere Island, which is just next door. The two islands are only maybe 50 metres apart and that was done in 1976. How did they increase the population with only one breeding female black robin? Her name was, was Old Blue and she was the only one who, that was still breeding. But they had to boost the numbers of chicks that were produced and they did that by, they took um, the eggs out of her nest and moved black robin eggs into tomtit nests. The idea being that the tomtit will um, incubate the eggs and they'll hatch into black robin chicks. And in the meantime, Old Blue, that original female, can lay more eggs and that just boosts the number of chicks you can get in a season. And they worked really well. One female basically saved an entire species. And then in 1983, the population was, was big enough for them to move them onto this island. Why were the robins brought to Rangatira? For a population to grow, you just need to provide them with more habitat and um, Rangatira was just identified as perfect for them. And it's a nature reserve, so it's got full protection status and it's predator free. Are the numbers here on Rangatira increasing or have they stabilised? Well, we're actually looking into that at the moment. We've got a researcher from one of the universities, or Canterbury University, she's looking at um, the breeding success of black robins on this island. Breeding success is pretty good. I mean, they're definitely um, you know, hatching chicks and chicks are fledging. We're just not quite sure if the population is increasing. Do you think that it would ever be possible to um, translocate black robins to other areas? They have been translocated in the past. They have been moved to Pitt Island. That was done a few years ago. Um, and they persisted in that area for a while. They even bred in the area, but they have now vanished. There's not, there are no black robins left on Pitt. And we think it's a, probably a combination of just dispersal. They're just um, they can just fly out of the area and as soon as they leave the area they, then they can be eaten by cats and, and other predators. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a tricky one to know where to put them next really. special feeling to be face to face with a black robin. And what I love the most about this story is that it reminds us to never give up hope and that in conservation, even the impossible is possible.